writing your goal, think about your goal, and write your goal. This next exercise is to teach you how to focus. What I want you to do is sit comfortably, feet flat on the ground, hands together, or on your lap. Just don't be playing with anything. Hands, nothing. 
Just focus on the dot. Keep looking at the dot. And think nothing but of the dot. Any ideas that come to you, just stop them. Focus on the dot. I'm gonna do this for a minute first. <clears throat> Here we go. Focus on one thing, you can focus on anything. The dot can separate and become two, and then they come back together. Focus on the dot, become one with the dot. Become one with the dot.
this exercise for the next 30 days every day. Two, three, four, five minutes. And you'll see how your life will change for the better. If you need help, you know how to find me. My graduate students, private students, work with me in this. And they get phenomenal results. Executive Love Prayer. Today, more than ever, I find myself in the hands of God. This is what I've wanted all my life, from my youth. To serve, to contribute, and to make a difference. Today, I enter consciousness of abundance and plenty. I know that everything I do will prosper. I know that everything I can make upon the universe will honor. What I want, wants me to. What I desire, Today, I expect success in everything I do. Today and every day, I show up for myself with unconditional love. I show up for all the people who I'm called to serve. Today is a very important day as someone's life will be touched because I showed up for them. I'm happy to challenge myself this way. Give up something I prefer in exchange for something else. Or other within and all that my comfort. This is how leaders are made, and I am one great leader. The world needs me more than any time, and I choose to do this for the world. So help me God. Amen. Beautiful prayer for my good friend, Fatih. This is what we call the stickman figure. And we're going to talk about your goal. So, intellectually, so this is your conscious mind, and this is your subconscious mind. If the circle is your mind, and we split the circle in two, the top is the conscious mind, the bottom is the subconscious. I want to bring your attention to the subconscious for a big reason, because it has to do with 98% of everything you do. Yes, you heard it right, 98%. 
everything we do, we're doing subconsciously. Your current results. They all have to do with the subconscious mind. Nothing to do with your intellectual mind. So if you want to learn how to improve your results, you want to learn what I call taking control back. Total control. See, your subconscious mind gives the body the commands to do what it needs to do. Now your body follows orders. It has to do what the subconscious mind wants it. That's how you stay safe. That's how your heart keeps beating. That's how you keep breathing. That's how you survive. That's how you are conditioned. That's how it is. So in the physical world that we live in, our results all come from the subconscious mind. This is known as the stickman figure. Truman Fleet back in 1934 came up with it. And this is one hell of an idea. And the reason this is one hell of an idea is because we need a picture. We need a picture to understand the mind, to know how the mind works, because we think in pictures. When Truman Fleet came up with this, it uh, separated a lot of people, doctors and psychologists from the world of therapy because it was very controversial. Now, obviously, the actual mind is way more complicated than this. But we need a picture to see how the mind, understand how the mind works so we can learn how to control it because what is mind? Are you mind? Am I mind? Are we one mind? We can spend a whole day negotiating this and going back and forth discussion, but it's just going to waste a lot of time. So I'm going to give it to you straight. Bob Proctor studied this for 61 years of his life. It took him 10 years to find out about it. And then the last 51 years when he was coaching, he said, this has been the best idea he's ever came across. So I'm glad you're paying attention. I'm glad you're listening because this is one hell of an idea. Most people are not able to control their subconscious mind. Most people are not able to control their results and they are blaming their circumstances. They are blaming their conditions on what's happening outside. This is not hair on the stigma figure. These are what you see here touch, taste, and feel, and basically what I call the environment around you. So we have the environment around us bringing us stuff. All the time there's stuff happening. Even now, environment is bringing things. Now we have a choice as this environment is bringing us things to choose. To choose if it's going to affect us or not. And that's what the intellectual mind is about. That's why it's called intellectual mind. Because intellectually you can think. And you have to think. But we have a choice. Is this going to be a negative situation? Or is this going to be a positive situation? Even now, this conversation that I'm speaking to you, as you think, and I want you to pause and think, you can choose to reject this information. Or you can choose to accept it. So if you choose to reject it, it just goes out. If you choose to accept it, this information goes to your subconscious mind. And this is the case for everything that's happening around you. Now, why is this important? Because when you were a baby and as you were growing up, up to age seven, eight, nine, ten year old, they say seven, but who knows? Basically, you were still a young kid. Everything that came to you went to your mind and went to your subconscious mind and you got programmed. 
I've been programmed when I was a kid by my parents, by my surroundings, by what was going on back in Lebanon. Everything comes in and goes to your subconscious mind. When you're a baby, you don't reject, you just accept. That's why you eat your parents' food, you speak your parents' language, surroundings, conditions. Everything goes in, you accept everything like a baby. And then you start behaving like your family is behaving. So your results are a result of the conditioning that you've been around. That's why there is generational problems. From wealth to health to sickness to illness to divorces to being incarcerated. You look at them and you see, look around you, you know whatever you're going through, your parents are likely have gone through and your grandparents. So there's people for generations who are on drugs. There's people for generations who go to prisons. There's people for generations who are poor, no matter how hard they work. So it's generational, it's programmed in. And this is the programming that we need to help you change, to change your wealth. I want you to listen to this idea and go back and listen to it again and again and again until you get it because this idea has the power to change your life. Intellectually, you believe you can multiply your income, but emotionally, on your subconscious mind, you can't seem to earn more money. See, God gave us abilities, what we call the higher mental faculties, God gave us these for a reason that separates us from the animal kingdom. So he gave us what? Imagination, intuition, memory, perception, reason, and the will. So God gave us these for a reason, because with these, with these higher mental faculties, we are going to teach you how to control your subconscious mind, how to allow what information you want to go in and what you don't want to go in. You have to pause and think. Most people don't think. Most people are not imagining what they can do. So these higher mental faculties are very important. They're very critical in the first few lessons and thinking it results where I teach you how to enhance their power. And at the beginning of this video, there was an exercise on focus to learn how to focus, which is going to help you really get your will focused on what you want. Focused on what you want, not what you don't want. Because if you don't focus on what you want, you're focusing on what you don't want. Not knowing. And I'm going to teach you how to start knowing. Because I want to help you improve your results. So with the aid of these higher mental faculties, we're able to decide and help the subconscious mind really get the idea that we want, the desire that we want. What is this desire that we want? What is the desire that we want? More money, more fun, more hope, more this, more that. With this thing that you want. But it's not going to get in there unless you work at it. But intellectually, you think you can, but on the subconscious, you spend most of your life that you can't. And as soon as this idea that you want, as soon as this idea, we're going to make a dot on this idea. As soon as this idea is here and we start subjecting it over and 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 over again, until it becomes a habit, it's not going to happen. 
But once it becomes a habit, guess what? Your body will go on the vibration that it needs to give you the results that you want. It will start attracting everything you want into your life. This idea by itself has the power to change you for the better. Now, there's a reason for that. Because we only learn by one of two ways. How do we learn from when you were a baby? Think back, how do you learn when you were a baby? We will learn by one of two ways. Repetition or emotional impact. We learn in one of two ways. Emotional impact is typically negative. I think it's an E. So I'm teaching you the repetition way because emotional impact is when you've gone through some trauma, some kind of issues. Many of us have, and then you adjust and you follow, but we're going to teach you the more the repetition. And that's why we got to think about this goal. We got to impress it on the subconscious mind, impress it on the subconscious mind, impress it on the subconscious mind. Keep asking it, keep asking it, demanding it, demanding it, demanding it until it says, fine, here, Kamal, take it. Take it. You want this million dollars? Take it. You want this car? Take it. You want this relationship? Take it. It will start attracting into your life everything you need to make it happen because the subconscious mind is the servant mind. Remember that subconscious mind is the servant mind, but it's only the servant if you know how to control it. And this is what I call total control. Now, this is a new idea to me. I didn't know this. I never knew this. I only know this when I met Bob Proctor. And I got to tell you, it's the most sadistic idea I've ever heard in my life. But yet it's the most powerful. Because once you get the idea injected into your subconscious mind and accepted, and this is your servant mind, and this servant mind is connected to the universe, to infinite, it has to come to form. It is a must, baby. It has to happen. There is no other way, but it has to happen. Your results will change. They must change. It's not you. Wallace Wallace says, we do things in a certain way. You don't get rich by doing things. You get rich by doing things in a certain way. I'm teaching you that certain way right now. You want your results to change with ease? This is the way. You want to start living a better life? This is the way. You want to start being calm? This is the way. When you can respond instead of react. When you have your subconscious mind that has 98% control over everything you do in life, over all your results, that's how you make money with ease. Most of you out there are struggling. As a matter of fact, 95% of the people are struggling. 55% of retirees are broke. We're living in the most richest country in the world, the United States and Canada and a few parts of Europe. About 55% of retirees are broke. It's terrifying, isn't it? Well, you don't want to be there. I want you to start getting control. Take control back. And start learning how to think. Um, not sure where this came from and who was it, but somebody said 2% of the people think, 3% think they think, and 95% rather die than think. So you see, when you think, when you think, you take control. And this is when you start effectively using these higher mental faculties. You start engaging with them. And I'm going to teach you the imagination, how to really make that powerful, how to get your intuition that tells you what to do, how to get your memory. Really, everybody has good memory. How to get your perception, your, the way you see things. How do you reason stuff, right? And how can you focus? See, these, these are like the microscope. These are like the focus. These are what's going to get you to become better. We all have good intuition. We just don't use it. We don't trust it. We all have good imagination. You did as well when you were a kid, but you don't use it as much. You don't take time. We all have good memory. You can develop memory. Some people are memorizing whole books if you want to. 
perception. How, how do you see things, right? Reason and the will. Still with the focus. Oh, wow. She's powerful. Very, very powerful. Intellectually, I believe I can multiply my income, but on the subconscious mind, I can seem to earn more money. If your results are not changing the way you want to, if your results are not changing the way you want to, you have an attitude problem. You have a subconscious mind problem. You haven't subjected the idea deep enough yet. You're not doing the work. You're not willing to do what it takes. You're wishing and hoping. Auto-suggestion is the most powerful idea I've ever heard of. Auto-suggestion. Now, if I can teach you auto-suggestion to really suggest your goal when you really want and make that stick, how much would that be worth to you? How much would that be worth to you when, when, when your goal is going to be auto-suggested and it's going to start getting at being attracted from all across the world to come to aid you because you're going to get control back. Let's think about this idea for a second here. Let's think about this idea for a second here. I want to leave this picture. I want you to think what, what's coming to your mind right now. Just think about it.
So you can obviously create your own image. And think about your goal and share like that. But I want to talk briefly about auto suggestion, which is mentioned very, very much uh, in my book. So let's find that up. Here we go. So it's the breakthrough that you want. Chief Richie can do it. Flory can do it. Trudy can do it. You can do it too. But everyone's asking, how are you doing it? They're never asking, how, what are you thinking? They're asking, what are you doing? It really doesn't really matter. What am I doing? Every one of us is doing something. I just think. But I'm going to go over a series of events that has got me here. See, Steve Jobs said, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them backwards. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect the dots backwards. See, the auto-suggestion idea, taking control back from the subconscious mind is totally subjective. It's being fed anyways. Your subjective mind is being fed anyways. So you might as well put in it what you want. So I showed you how to visualize your goal. Now the matter is, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? What a way to live. See, Bob Proctor said, put a goal in a goal card and carry it with you and become one with it. Put a goal in a goal card and repeat it again and again and again. What is going on? How could a man say that? How could a man say, tell me what you want and I help you get it? See, once I started studying this information and allowing good mindset material come to me, things started to change. Everything I'm telling you here could be tested. Everything I'm sharing with you could be tested. Don't take my word for it. Just test it. You see, at the beginning, Bob Proctor did not believe Ray Stanford when he said, do this. Bob felt it was like a hurry, fairy kind of idea. Like, is this for real? Read this book again and again, follow direction. It is as real as you and me are real. This is very, very real. Test it out. Your job is to test this out. If you want to change your life, test it out. You want to stay stuck? Stay where you are. I'm telling you, test it out. You'll be the best thing you've ever done for your life. So Bob told Ray, I'll do it. And for one reason or another, he did it because Ray's way was working. Bob's way wasn't working. Ray was happy, healthy, and wealthy. Bob was broke, sick, and not feeling good. My way's working, your way's not. Why don't you follow what I say? See, we're working with the highest power here. We're going to teach you how to do that. Working with the universal intelligence. That's what you're going to get. You can get yourself into a whole loophole of information. Where's the mind? Where's the subconscious mind? No one's seen the mind. What's all this stuff? Just follow directions. The stick man figure is completely abstract. It's insane, but it gives you a picture. See, Bob Proctor said this is the most intelligent idea in the 50 years that he was in the business. 61 years total, but it was 10 years later when he learned this up. This is the most intelligent idea. So in the auto-suggestion chapter in Think and Grow Rich, which some of you study that with me, in the uh, business mastermind, I want you to read it. I want you to become money conscious because auto-suggestion is the medium for influencing the subconscious mind. Auto-suggestion is the medium for influencing the subconscious mind. And if you look up the definition of auto-suggestion, that's going to help you more. But it says here, auto-suggestion is a term which applies to all suggestions 
and all self-administered stimuli which reaches one's mind through the five senses. It didn't say some, it says all. Stated in another way, oral suggestion is self-suggestion. It is the agency of communication between that part of the mind where conscious thought takes place and that which serves as the seat of action for the subconscious mind. Test it out. I want you to come along with me for 30 days. 30 days journey. I want you to become that money magnet, that money conscious. 30 days will change your life. You see, I started slow. I really studied. I kind of took the information in, pretended I'm doing it, really applied it. But I got to tell you, the last six months, something incredible is happening. Something incredible is happening. We are cooking with gas, baby. We are flaming. We are. It's moving. Because it's finally happening. And I bet all of you here listening, all of you here checking what's going on, you want to make more money. Who here wants to make more money? Who here wants more love? Who here wants more life? Who here wants to express themselves better to others? See, I want you to learn to mix your emotions with the words that are needed. Just repeating words without emotion doesn't cut it. Nothing happens. And some of you have been around the material for a while. Who's, who here has been around the material for five years? In one way or another. Who here has been coached for 10 years or 20 years or 25 or 30 years and not getting anywhere? I know. How do I know that? Because I have a client like that. See, it took me 22 years to find out this material. And in the last four, it has been an incredible journey. So you're missing one thing. And that's why we call it thinking into results. You're missing uh, a piece of understanding. And how do you get understanding? Nobody wants to do this. It's the only way out. Solomon said, in anything you do, get understanding. In everything you do, get understanding. This is back in the biblical days. The only way you're going to get understanding away from ignorance is by studying. You got to study. You go from ignorant to knowledgeable by studying. You go from fear to faith by studying. None of you want to study. See, your emotions and belief will come about as you start studying. You're believing in yourself that you're going to get the goal will change as you start studying. What beliefs do we have to build inside of you so that you can actually achieve this goal that you want? What beliefs do we have to let go of? We cover all that, right, in lesson one. Lesson one, which you all pretty much have access to right here. But you're not aware. You're like a baby. You're at the beginning of the journey. And I'm going to give you control back. Who here wants control? Who here wants control? I bet a lot of you want control. I bet a lot of you want this auto-suggestion control. But a lot of you want to want to start actually start doing the things that you want to do. In the conscious subconscious mind idea that I presented earlier, Bob Proctor said Mark Victor Hansen is the fastest person to get an idea to physical reality. Mark Victor Hansen, he said he was the fastest. And Bob's seen thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. Why? Because he had control. He followed direction. I want you to test this material out. This material could be tested. Who here wants control? Who here knows uh, their sales numbers. Who here, know, who here is afraid of rejection? How many times are you willing to hear a no till you get a yes? What are the illuminating thoughts that are going on in your mind, right? What are these thoughts? See, it's your duty to know. It's your duty to get better. 
And I don't want you to be discouraged if you're if you're not even close to this. I don't want you to be discouraged if you can't control your emotions and feelings, but you have to build this faith. In the book, in the book, Think and Grow Rich, for those who study with me, we talk about uh, what the price is and what are you willing to do. And the price of the ability to influence your subconscious mind is everlasting persistence in applying the principles described here. Everlasting persistence. It's not some, it's everlasting persistence. I am so happy and grateful now that I have my goal. I am so happy and grateful now that I have my goal. The ability to influence your subconscious mind, the ability to take that control, the ability to make it your servant mind. See, when you start thinking like this, you're probably thinking the straight jackets are coming for you, right? And they're gonna take you to they're gonna take you somewhere where you don't want you want to be. You can't rush this. You must pay the price 30 days. Test this out. I want you to test it out. This one idea. What's the image on your mind? What's this one image on your mind? Auto suggestion. No thought, whether it be negative or positive, can enter the subconscious mind without the aid of the principle of auto suggestion. With the exception of thoughts picked up from the ether, stated differently, all sense impressions which are perceived through the five senses are stopped by the conscious thinking mind. And may be either passed on to the subconscious mind or rejected at will. The conscious faculty serves, therefore, as an outer guard to the approach of the subconscious mind. Check this out. Nature has so ever built man so that he has absolute control over the material which reaches his subconscious mind through the five senses. Although this is not meant to be construed as a statement that man always exercises this control, in the great majority of instances, he does not exercise it which explains why so many people go through life in poverty. Recall what has been said about the subconscious mind resembling a fertile garden spot in which weeds will grow in abundance if the seeds of more desirable crops are not sown therein. Auto-suggestion is the agency of control through which an individual may voluntarily feed his subconscious mind on thoughts of a creative nature or by neglect. Permit thoughts of a destructive nature to find their way into this garden of the mind. The garden of the mind. Taking control back. Who here wants control? I know you all do. I know you all do. like what you've heard subscribe share and like share this with someone you love share this with someone that needs to hear this share this with someone that is struggling 
with what I shared for you with you over the last few days and today. So powerful, so magnificent, so big. You can change your life. And like I said, I want you to test it out. Don't take my word for it. Test it out. Come play with me. I'd be more than happy to have you. Change your life.